Welcome everyone. Also on behalf of uh, Al and Eric. We are starting a bit later than uh, last year. I think, uh, I don't know what was the reason Al. We started uh, talking about this uh, somewhere in December, I think. And yep. we were thinking about how to uh, program this whole uh, series and uh, <laughs> we didn't come up more than Let's ask uh, people we uh, we did last year and ask them whether they got ideas. And uh, surprisingly, a uh, little uh, response from, from the other side. So whether they're busy working or they just prefer to be uh, on the background, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it uh, was a little slow getting started last year and it took a while to gain momentum and we'll see if this isn't proved to be the same thing or maybe it's a thing that's run its course now that COVID isn't in the forefront as much as it was in in the past years. I don't know mm -hmm. about you all there in Europe, but here in the U.S. we're starting to have in-person shows again. We've already been to one this year and we're going to another one next month. Yeah, so looking forward to seeing people again after a long spell of not that we don't enjoy talking with all of you, but it's different to look the person right in the eye than it is to look at his computer screen. <clears throat> right, right. Yeah, we are uh, we already having uh, shows where we can uh, meet up, and uh, well, it's still uh, it's still around. Uh -huh. Yeah, we have to be careful, but uh, yeah, basically the, the all the restrictions are lifted, so. Uh, we had we had fortnight ago we had a show in this work and tomorrow is the show in belgium and inshallah so you jim if i understood you correctly you had to cancel no 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 he, he had a he had a, f a fishing show in, uh, in last week in germany oh okay and, uh, tomorrow coming Weekend, there's a fly fishing show in, in Belgium, in the city of uh, Charleroi. That's, uh, that's the city where it's held. Mengeluid yeah. good, uh, Jay. Is Mengeluid good? Yeah, we can okay. hear you fine, John. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and here in the States, I've got a couple shows coming up. One next weekend in Cincinnati. So uh, it's starting... I, okay, think uh, was, I think we will start. Yeah. Because because um, there will not be uh, n no more people. I think there will not be more people there in this there are, Zoom. There are some watching on Facebook. I just checked. Yeah, Gretchen's looking at Facebook. Yeah. So that, okay. And okay. once I dump it onto um, Let's start. YouTube, uh, we'll pick up some more people too. It takes a while to generate the interest, but. I know that it, on our regular Zoom nights, we get a, a pretty good crowd of people of somewhere around 40 people. But then on Facebook and YouTube, we'll pick up another 400, you know, just so it's um, you kind of have to put the sum total together. And not everybody is able to get together at 830 CET time and and. Um, but they can okay. work, it, work it in on Facebook or YouTube at their own speed. Well, yeah. it's still working hours in the States right now. Right, so it's not it's not weird that not a lot of people are from the U.S. Are picking up here in Europe. It's uh, after uh, eight seven p.m., so should be sure. okay. But maybe seven p.m. for the U.K. Uh, time, it's a bit too early because people are still uh, <clears throat> rushing <throat> rushing home back for dinner or whatever. So, yeah. Well, we can always adjust it, but. Um... I'll look to you guys there in Europe as to what you want to do with this. Uh, Eric and I here in the U.S. are ready to to demonstrate if you want. Or w w I I really like to do these because, like I said last year, I watch and I learn from everybody. Everybody's got this cute little trick. I'll tell the story that I often tell. I was at a show about 20 years ago, and this young fellow sat down next to me tying flies. And I learned how to put rubber legs on a fly like I've never seen before in my life. And this guy was 12 years old. And I'd only been tying him 50 years at that time. So you can you can go from there. You learn from everybody if you'll take the time to look and learn. Sure. But anyway, that's 
That's my I, I, I did try. Uh, I did try attending uh, one of those uh, U.S. time uh, meetings, but I had to uh, stay up till uh, two a.m. Yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah. You. We. We got a, a chance to see the your your video picture. God, you look like it. You. You could sure use some sleep. Yeah, <laughs> but it was. Uh, it was a tough night, so, uh, yeah. so there was yeah, a this is, know, good. Two, this is good. That two o'clock in the morning thing was good when we were twenty years old, but now that we're more years down the road, it's a little bit more difficult. <laughs> right, right. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, this this time is uh, this time is good because later, if we start later, then it's going to be uh, quite late here too. So, I think. Uh, okay. Well, what I like to do, guys, is is send the invites out with the Zoom link on Mondays, somewhere early in the week, so people get a chance to plan around it. So you all figure out what you want to do for next week, and and I'll I'll advertise it for you. It, and it can be something that Eric and I do, or anybody here in the U.S., or anybody there in your country. I really would look for, I'm really looking forward to as an example. I know that Jan is going to talk about ringneck pheasant, and I'm really looking forward to that because I know I've got about six or eight ringneck pelts here, and I know I don't put the feathers to the use that I should be. So, Jan, if you're willing to uh, if you're willing to share uh, what to do with ringneck, I'm going to spotlight you, and you can get started with your presentation. Okay. Is that all right with everyone? That's all right. All right, good. <laughs> hey, you've got it, Jan. Okay. Now, yeah, today we will talk about uh, the great possibilities of uh, pheasant feathers in fly tying. So for sure, most fly tires will tie with uh, their own um, pheasant tail nymphs and use the qualities of the tail feathers. But do they know all the other uh, feathers of this uh, special bird? That, uh, that's what we want to do today. I want to clear something. So I hope you will learn something more than just the tying with tail feathers. Uh, but first, um, how I met these feathers. It's, uh, it's about 12 years ago that I met Christine Tooley from Chevron Hackles in the UK. And that was on the EWF fly fishing show in Munich. And she, she has a, a breedery with uh, chickens especially for fly tying feathers. And besides uh, breeding birds, she also dyes her feathers. And her dyeing is really excellent. And she offers a variation of very nice and useful uh, colors. And she has also other birds uh, like uh, Guinea folds, uh, mallards, partridge, woodcock, and of course, pheasant. And pheasant tails are uh, very popular these days. Are very popular are popular these days, and um, you can you can have whole skins, but especially the parts of the bird of, of this bird, like uh, rump patches and shoulders and wings. And these feathers are also much cheaper comparing to uh, to cock feathers. Maybe that's a reason. But I don't think it's the only reason for, for the popularity. So I think the main reason is that you can use almost every feather for fly tying. And um, at the same time that I met Christine, I also met her pro tire, Peter Joost from Germany. Christian will, uh, for sure, will know him because he was on the show uh, uh, two weeks ago. And in the years after, Peter did some workshops with uh, pheasant uh, feathers in our shop, Finest Fly Fishing. And he showed me the way to tie with these feathers. And I got more and more enthusiast. I will show uh, some, some short videos afterwards, Miss Peter. Anyway, um, it's time to get to know about the pheasant now and uh, to know the beautiful feathers. So I show not all, but most of the feathers I tie with and some examples of flies you can tie. And then I suggest that after that, my presentation, 
you can ask them questions and maybe we have a little talk about pheasant tying. So let's start. Yeah, what you see is a ring neck uh, pheasant. It's not the only pheasant, but that is a special kind of it. But uh, all pheasants, all pheasants are, are usable. But this this is a very beautiful bird, and I will I will show uh, I will show um, the possibilities of um, um, this beautiful bird. So. You all know the tail, because the tail you use for for um, um, pheasant tail nymphs and who who didn't every tire is, is uh, any time uh, tying with uh, pheasant tail nymphs. So I we we don't discuss that today because I I think everybody know that, but there are a lot more feathers. Let's start on the top. Yeah, the top feathers on the neck, or oh, not big feathers, but you can you can tie with. Then you have the shoulder, the shoulder here, very beautiful. The the feathers, the the single feathers are uh, well known as uh, shirts windows. So, so the Gothic shirts windows from uh, what you see in churches. That is another name for the shoulder left and right shoulder wing you can tie it with you cannot see it very well because uh, maybe in the in the next picture but here are the wing feathers you can you can uh, tie with but the most important is the rum patch the rum patch is on the back side and that is all is the rum patch and i will I will show you that afterwards uh, what what uh, flash and what uh, fellas you can use. So go to the next picture. And it's a little bit better to see uh, the top fellas, the shoulder patches, the rim patch, the wing feathers, and what, what you didn't see it before is this, this part here, You're very useful for wet flies and, and also for, for uh, caddis flies. And that is also a, a ring neck. And that is an, uh, this, that's another uh, kind of, um, and, and you, you better can see the rim patch here. That's about the rim patch. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Yeah, for sure the the, the, the tails, but the tails are uh, are um, you can buy it in in different colors, and maybe everyone is is in uh, uh, tying in the nature nature natural um, color, but you have red or sunburst, and you have golden or um, yellow golden um, and kingfisher blue and and th that's only uh, um, an example of four colors but i think there are uh, chevron has about 10 10 colors what you can tie with is um, of course the the the, the normal pheasant tail nymph everybody knows that it's not, not necessary to discuss about it. And beside the, the, the cock, you have, also, you have also the hands, the hands of the pheasant. And you are fairly usable, not, not as much as the cock, but you are fairly usable for, for uh, fly tying, uh, let's say spiders and wet flies. But especially, I use that especially for spiders. I'm in spiders, I'm fishing on grayling. That's, that's an example of a fly with um, a feather from a hen. And you see, it's, it's a little sparse, um, um, only, uh, I think only one and a half or two turns. 
and that's the nurse because spider is is known because of the movement of the uh, of the the wings and and you can say it you can see it as an as an emerger and i'm fishing that uh, near the near the surface and and maybe it looks a big hook but um you're fishing that with hooks uh, let's say 16 18 20. Oh, that's my friend uh, Peter. He's tying a spider fly. And you tie it in in the top, not on the butt, but in the top. That's one of the fellas from the, uh, uh, on, on the head of the, of the bird. Black or black greenish, uh, with a little with a little mark. Also, not 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 much uh, turns. I think all uh, um, maybe two turns, and it should be sparse. That's the rum patch. And you can use almost a whole rum patch for it because you can use the, the, the uh, yes, this is outside uh, hurls here. You can use that for tails as sub, uh, substitute for the, the, the pheasant tail. Yeah. This part of, of, the, of the fly uh, is very usable for, for tying um, sea trout flies, uh, like uh, the pet greasen. It's very well known in, in Denmark and, 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 in the, um, and uh, the, on the German uh, coast. They are fishing a lot with the pet greasen. But also no, no shrimps. And uh, later we, I, I will show you a short video with, with a nymph. And that feathers here um, are very usable for um, tying um, little streamers and bait fish streamers. You also see here with the church windows. Uh, you can buy, you, when you when you take uh, the, the top of the feather and and you can uh, with uh, some lacquer. Um, and, and drying that it is, is becoming stiff and you can fold it uh, as, as a wing from a caddisfly. And what you see here is, and, and we, you will see it later on, is a lot of marabou on the back side of, of, the, of the, uh, this patch, uh, there's a lot of marabou. And you can use the marabou for different uh, kinds of, uh, of, of flies. Like, um, let's say, when, when, when you want to have a lot of movement uh, for imitating uh, uh, gills, mm -hmm. so, uh, for example, um, but also in, in, in streamers. So what you see is you can use hardly the whole run patch for, for, for tying. And for sure, and um, I, I'm, an, I'm an old school fly fisher and um, fishing a lot with dry flies and little flies. And, and, and the pheasant tail is, is in, in comparing to um, cock hackles, is more uh, for a, a little bit bigger flies. Let's uh, let's say uh, uh, let's say uh, saltwater flies, uh, bait fish flies, uh, bigger wet flies. Not 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 the 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 the, the, the little um, flies. Uh, what I use for for grayling fishing. That's not that you can take better a, a cock hackle, but but. All this, the fellas, you can use for the fly tying, and and uh, you, what you see is beautiful colors, beautiful colors. That's an example of a fly that that's called the Brenda, and in Denmark, a very popular fly. And and all this, all these hackles here, 
is from a pheasant. As oh, it's about the middle of um, of the rump patch, and um, it's, it's a very catchy fly. He's that's Peter again, and he's he's tying um, um, a Brenda. And what you see is a, a feather, the, the top of the feather. And this is the color is brown or sunburst. I think it's sunburst. And you only turn it two times. Oh, Peter is a very good tire. He's, he's tying on a lot of shows. So we'll speed up the, the, the video because otherwise it's, it takes too long. And he let some space because the, the, the hackles has space for movement. Not too thick. That's the top feather. I will show you a feather later on and you can see what, what part of the feather you use for this fly. as a fly for, for sea trout. It's called the Brenda. Not Brenda Lee, but Brenda. Okay, that's the blender. This is another example of for, for an, uh, a fly uh, with, with the same feather, but a little bit, a little bit um, compact. It's, that's, that's a fly uh, is an imitation for a stickleback a bait fish. Well, maybe you mentioned here the, the, the eye is very, <laughs> I didn't know that before because I saw it uh, last, last time, I saw it how they was, uh, he was tying the guy and he's uh, gluing the, the, the eye on the, um, on the side. And uh, then he was taking over uh, with a monofill uh, thread, you, uh, uh, um, a monofill um, nylon. You see it here, this part. And then he did some, some epoxy on it. And, and you cannot see the, the monofill anymore, um, hardly. When you, know, when you know it, then you can see it. But I think it's, it's a good way of uh, making a, a nice a nice hat with two eyes. And the alternate the alternative is is this one. That's the same same um, a fly. It's also a bait fish, but with Mertler head with the hair. And and what what I like in, on this fly is the the two uh, sheiks. Is also tied with uh, um, feathers from the pheasant. Uh, you, 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 this, this one it has a hook, uh, four or two, and and, and uh, I think it's about uh, two two and a half inches in total from here to there. Uh, you see, uh, this is also a rampage with a nice color. This is chartreuse. 
And you can Im imagine what, what beautiful flies you can tie with. Like this one. It's an, it's an Irish wet fly. We, uh, the Irish man fish, fish with this flies on, uh, on the locks, on the, the lakes in Ireland. I did that before. Uh, you are fishing from a boat, not from the shore, but uh, from a boat. And um, pheasants, um, pheasants feather are very useful for this kind of wet flies. And it's total, total pheasant. That's pheasant, and that's also pheasant. Was a little bit dub. That's what I want to. That's that's one of the middle uh, feathers of a rim patch, and you can see this part here. He used for for the branda what you saw, and also for the sticklebacks. And this is a light one, but you can have it in brown and red, in in kingfisher blue. You can have it in chartreuse and, and orange and and so on. And this part there's a lot of um, uh, on every feather is a lot of marabou. And you can imagine when you when you or you, you take it in a clamp and put it in a, in a loop. And um, uh, you can make a beautiful um, um, dubbing. And not only a dubbing, but also it, uh, makes, uh, make um, gills on, on the side of, uh, of, of a nymph. And this is what you call an after feather. An after feather that is a, is also a marabou, and is uh, on most of this this feathers on the back side. Um, there is what you call an after feather, and as, uh, when you when you take this in a clamp exactly here, you can imagine what you can do with it. And hardly hardly a fly fisher and fly tire knows this feather. They all throw it in, 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 in the can and, and don't use it, but and it's very usable. And in Holland, we say what a farmer doesn't know, does a farmer doesn't eat. So, the, <laughs> you, yeah, that's the same feather for the after feather here. That's, that's also pheasant. That's also pheasant. That's pheasant, and it's that is what you call um, um, squirrel squirrel job. That's a yik. It's about uh, I think um, hook ten. Also here, what you see is that he did was uh, with the, the the nylon over the, the the eyes, and you see here the whole the whole yik is tied with marble from a pheasant. This part is what you you, you call a shoulder. Look what beautiful it's, it's, it's a big uh, picture. I think the, the total length from, from this patch from here till there is about 15 centimeters. So let's say uh, five, six inches. But our beautiful feathers on it, what you call the church windows. Also, here is again. Some marabou. And then what is that is uh, an example of a fly you can tie with. This is a fly of myself. It's called an Italian satch. And the wing, the wings are from, from this feather. You see here is a shirt window. And it's fold on on um, on on the middle. And I did some lacquer between um, uh, the finger and the thumb and on um, two, um, 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 two sides, the upper side and the underside. And let's dry and it's beautiful. Very nature, very nature. 
this is deer hair. But all you, what you see is a, a little bit rough. Another example. Again, this 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 uh, feather is the feather for it's it's above the shoulder part. You have a lot of these brown feathers. Here again, you have the two uh, side um, wings, and, it's, and you cannot say say that cheeks cheeks should be here, but you you can imagine that it makes some movement in the water. That's not a big fly. It's, I think it's hook ten. And this is also, um, again, from the same uh, part of the feather I showed before. That is the, the part uh, of the feather from, from the tail, not, not the long tail, but the, the, just the tail part. And, and what you can tie with, is, with this feathers is, the wings of wet flies. Like this one. This is what you call a March Brown. It's a fly of myself. And this is the part of the, of the pheasant tail uh, wings. And now I show you um, a fry. It's a shrimp. And again, with the same feather of the pheasant. A little bit more because it's, it's not so sparse as the Brenda. He will take it up now. It's also, uh, I, I don't know exactly, but I think hook four is a shrimp also for, for fishing in salt water. So that was the shrimp fly. And that was the last fly of my presentation. I have to go to the camera. Okay, there I am I again. Jan, that um, was absolutely uh, awesome. Amazing. I, ho I hope, I hope you, you, you understand a little bit more from the possibilities this feather has for fly tying because what what I said, what what the farmer doesn't know, the farmer doesn't eat. And when you don't know what the possibilities are, I, I, I can imagine that you that you 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 have now when you know what you can do with it, let try it and you will see this bird has beautiful feathers. And the feathers are cheaper than cock feathers. May, you have I, ask more a, may I ask a question? Yes. Yes, when is the book coming out? <laughs> when is it? You have you have enough information there to do one heck of a good book. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I think that's that's uh, that's a way too far for me. <laughs> I did some I, I did some I did some publications and and I, I'm I'm writing articles in German um, a fly fisher magazine, <clears throat> but but um, this is that uh, my experience with this with fellas is not so long it, um, because I what I said I am an old school angler uh, fly fisher and um, I'm I'm fishing little flies and it was not my my real thing. But I, I, um, I, I saw what the possibilities were, were when, when I met Christine and, um, and Peter. And 
Uh, in our shop, uh, it's 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 good article because um, um, the people are buying the the feathers more and more. But you have you have to explain it. Well, yeah, and I'd like to I'd, I'd like sorry. to relate this to the states a little bit to U.S. Uh, those aftershaft feathers, the phyllo plume. Um, Mike Mercer has used those as you so beautifully pointed out for uh, uh, God, I'm senior moment um, on, on big nymphs. Um, in, in addition, a lot of the guys in, in out West uh, who fish a lot of spay flies, they're not spay flies as you'd think of them in Europe exactly, but they will sub in for Heron because Heron is illegal here. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you can, you can get it in Europe, but we can't get it here. So they'll sub in those rump feathers uh, on uh, spay flies for heron. Yeah, the, the, the after feather, I, I, I did not experiment it with, uh, enough was it to know everything about it. But I think there are a lot of possibilities to, to, to use this feather. And most of the time, um, when they have a when they have a fella, they they take it and 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 take the the, the marabou and the after fella up and throw it away. And that, that's that's a pity, because it's very useful. And a fly, a fly, I know a fly, maybe uh, Eric and, and I'll they know the fly also. Um, it's, it's called the sparrow. You know, you know that fly? There is a lot of, um, on, on, the, on the top of the fly, there's also the, um, the after I, I, I don't know the fly, Jan. Can you maybe yeah, tell yeah. us a little bit? I'm sorry, what was, what was the name again? Am I, am I, sparrow. Uh, no, oh, Jack Garkside oh, sparrow. Yes, 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 oh, yes. Yeah, the sparrow, yes. Of course. Yeah. yeah, I know well. Yeah. Garkside, Garkside. It uh, has it has the phyllo plumes up in front. Yeah. Garkside is one of the few uh, USA uh, fly feathers who is using the pheasant uh, uh, feathers. I know another guy is uh, Guna Guna Brahma. And uh, but but uh, there's very uh, yeah very little uh, information about it because they don't know it. Mm. And Peter used he he on every show where he is he is tying with these feathers because he is pro tire of uh, Chevron. Um, but he has a lot of um, uh, interest from 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 everywhere. And when they see what 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 nice flies he's he's tying with it, they buy uh, the rim patches, the shoulder patches, the wings. We are on the show in April as a new uh, show in Munich. It's the biggest uh, show in Europe. I uh, think in uh, for Europe uh, um, there will be a, about mm, six seven thousand uh, fly fisher. And um, we are, we are we doing the the, the stand uh, together with Christina uh, the first time this this year, and I believe that will be a good a, a real success. And Peter is also there. We'll look forward to a report from you in that regard. <laughs> yeah, we will see. We will see. There are there are other questions. I have a question, but it's not about fly tying. Okay. I was very impressed with the way you presented the slides. And if it was a PowerPoint, you did not use screen share. How did you no. do the slideshow? I um, I did. Um, I have two computers. And uh, it's it's uh, normally, um, I, I don't know exactly. Um, it's it's uh, not, not a program. Not um, it's it's only the computer showing showing my my pictures one after another, 
and I I have um, it connected with an ATEM Mini Pro. I I understand exactly what you're doing, and I've done the same <laughs> thing, but I use PowerPoint, and I like yours is a lot smoother than using PowerPoint. And all you were doing is going from one to the other. That's I like that a lot. Yeah, you you when you when you use uh, the ATEM Mini Pro, you can switch. Um, it's a switcher. And you can switch um, what you want from one uh, uh, to another. Um, that's um, that's going from the one to another. Got it. I know exactly what you're doing now. When you said the second, I've I've done some of the same things, and I've got mine set up for a second computer as well. <clears throat> yeah. I have to look for my camera. So I think Jan's got a there. shares in the computer manufacturer now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I I bought some things uh, because we can use it for our shop and uh, and uh, so because we, we we do every fortnight. Yeah. Sorry, every fortnight we do uh, a video. And um, then, then you have you you when it, it's okay when you have good stuff to make a video because a light, what what I said before to you, Al, uh, you have new light, you can see it, and if you have a good camera, you can see it. Very true. Very true. That's the reason why I why I I bought the, the Macos, the same camera you use for your flies. But I did not experiment it because I got I got it three days ago. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, thank you so much. Uh, is there anything else that we need to talk about this evening? Well, not fun. I see no. I see quite a lot of new uh, faces on this time uh, compared to last year, last winter. Uh, are there any uh, are there any certain subjects the new uh, people who joined us today uh, want to see or talk about or see demonstrations of? Well, we, we don't see Monty, Chris, and Jonathan, and Jim. They have no video or? They only want to have to our secrets. They, uh, they only want to have our secrets. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Chris, Chris, Jan, did you like it? Yeah? Okay. Yes. Christian, is a, Christian is a German. Excellent. Okay. I, uh, yes, I, assume, I really enjoyed it. Okay. I think Jonathan is at work, and he said um, he is joining now and wants to know about the recording. Yes, it'll be on YouTube, Jonathan. It'll, it's also been live streamed to Facebook. It'll be on Facebook for a week. Yeah, it'll be on Facebook for a week. And um, also, I noticed that you said you were joining from work. And in scanning across the screen, I know a few of the people, they must be joining from work too. So they must <laughs> not be real busy today, or this is a Friday where nothing's getting done in the office. <laughs> anyway, before we sign off, is there anything else that we need to, to talk about, Jay? Jan, Jan, uh, Eric. Well, well let's, I just, uh, we'll, we'll, who's going to do Eric. what coming up? <laughs> What's coming up? Who's going to who's going to demo coming up? Jay, Jan, what do you think? <clears throat> well, uh, as again, we have some new uh, people here, so we could maybe uh, re. Reuse some old uh, demonstrations of last winter. Maybe that could be an idea. Maybe Eric has a new uh, fly he's working on. I could come up with something I, for future uh, episodes. So I can do a new fly. I'd love to see uh, your, Jay's Catskill presentation again. The whole thing. The whole thing. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes <a> thumbs up <laughs> on that. We could do that. Sure. There's that. And um, I still think you ought to write a book on that presentation you did today, Jan. Add in a few, a few step-by-step -step pictures of tying flies, and you'd have a really dynamite book there. 
Yeah, I did a little, uh, some, some, some things were a little bit quicky, but I, um, I think it's boring when you see uh, or, or every time the, the, the same uh, movement. And that's why I speeded up a little bit. Yeah, because, got it. Because, because we, we, we want to have the attention from, uh, from uh, the Zoom. Uh, I think when it, uh, when it takes too long, and that, it's not so good. So that's the reason why I speeded it up. Okay, well, and are we now ready to sign off with the understanding that next okay, week, I'll, Eric, thank Eric, you. Eric, Eric, is thank you for presentation. I, is I that uh, uh, next week is not good for me. I have to get ready for a show this week. Oh, okay. So I'll, I'll do one within a couple Jay is, weeks. Jay is going to do the Catskill presentation then next week, right? Next week. Oh, uh, let, let me think. Uh, let me see if I can if I can find the presentation back. But uh, it should be. We'll, soon. Com we'll communicate via email, and we'll figure out something. Sure. 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 All right. Okay. Thank you very much for, I, for uh, I, attending, I and uh, we'll see you as. Uh, yeah. Thank okay, you for joining thank you, everybody. Us. And there's a bunch thank of you, you here in the U.S. You better get back to work. <laughs> Bye now. Sebastian has a question. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Is it, is it an idea to uh, that everyone presents uh, a product or something that he used? For example, um, I still use this dubbing box a lot. And what are you all using? So with every uh, invitation, we can yeah uh, uh, give a two or three products. Uh, what scissor do you use? What bobbing holder do you use? What? So, and everyone presents it in a minute. Why you use? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. The type of product. I think it's. It's the same. The same about uh, using tools. Yeah. What, what tools do you, or what what glue or what uh, what kind of super glue or everyone has his own products and its own. <clears throat> reasons why to use it something and i think it's really nice um and really good information to hear from each other why you use product x or product i or whatever that's a good idea bas maybe we can make a, a whole uh, theme for a show so uh, we'll, uh, then I think, we'll catch up with I think your every idea show, every show one two three products it's a quick thing. You see everyone. So that's also, hi, my name is Bas. I use this, but because, uh, and then the next one, and then the next one. So you see everyone, everyone knows each other, and you learn from each other. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Thank you. Sounds great. Okay. That's a really good idea. And that would, gives us an idea of what we can't live without that we have to buy from Europe. I, I still need Yanni. one of your stickers, uh, Al. I'm sorry. I still need one of your your uh, chapsticks uh, stickers. Oh, you send me one. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll we'll have to negotiate, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll do. We're, we'll do. We're going to yeah. sign out, and everyone, okay. thank you, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank okay. You. Thank Cheers. you. Okay. Thanks. Good night. See good afternoon. Time. Whichever the case. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye.